May I just go through this here uh, quickly? Um, first of all, he says, uh, we represent, I represent Antifa, but I don't really speak for everybody <laughs> because it's a collective and I can't speak for everybody in it because everybody has their own ideas. Now, this is a really interesting thing because we're all supposed to kowtow and think exactly what anyone tells us to think. But Antifa, apparently, at this stage of the game, has more respect for diverse opinion than current society does. Okay. Then they tell you exactly what they want. They don't, they don't want justice. They think justice is eradicating the entire system. Now, that seems like a threat to, I don't know, all of us. Uh, you know, when they say, oh, no police, we don't really mean no police. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Then they say this is a necessary escalation because nothing else is working and global warming. They're looking for the liberation of everyone. Now, this goes to a story that I will tell you uh, in just a little while about how Los Angeles is thinking about letting 76,000 prisoners out onto the streets. Uh, then, strangely, Antifa says, look, we have some problems with some uh, people, but uh, we all really need to work together. What? <laughs> what? So we all need to work together. This is a call for everyone on the left to put our differences aside and fight together, because we can win if we fight together. We might want to remember that one. Then the next tip is think local. Huh. Maybe we should remember that one as well. Then it ends with a threat to the mayor. Now, here's uh, what Andy No had to say about this. Uh, he said, you know, the police and the FBI are now looking into... Uh, this uh, this video and who posted it, et cetera, et cetera. Andy No was the first person uh, to point out that the user Hazy1312 was the per first person to promote the video and follow the obscure newly created account, not a threat. Uh, so um, Hazy1312, he writes... Looks like a response has been formed to some of the anarchists in Portland after recent comments made by Ted Wheeler. Now, this guy is a far-left journalist. 1312 is coding for uh, ACAB, all cops or whatever. Um, and Hazy 1312 is wearing the same mask as the guy in the video. On his little picture up there on the corner, he's wearing the same <laughs> mask. Uh, and uh, by the way, uh, it was the the website uh, had been um, uh, created right before it was released. And somehow or another, this guy just stumbled onto it. Oh, my gosh, look at this. <laughs> so I'm not sure it's going to be hard for the FBI, but maybe maybe it will. Maybe maybe this guy had nothing to do with it. <laughs> do you have any? I mean, I feel really um Bad for Ted Wheeler? I mean, no, I'm nervous for Ted Wheeler. I wouldn't want to be Ted Wheeler. I don't know what I would do if I were Ted Wheeler. I would take this very seriously if I were Ted Wheeler. But I, 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 I feel for him as a fellow human being, but intellectually, I really don't have that much sympathy for him. He's allowed this to go on in his community for so long when everyone outside of the community he helped was saying, grow it. Yeah, and everyone outside of the community was saying, hey, that sounds like a really terrible idea. Continued to do it all throughout the election that was going on. All through 2020, this was stoked by not only in Portland, but activists all over the country. And as you've pointed out a hundred times, Glenn, they don't like a normal Democrat or even a left-leaning Democrat. That's not oh. who these people are. They're not going to stop because Joe Biden got elected. That's what, what, the, what the left wanted to use this for. But it's not going to stop because of that. Uh, they're going to keep I'm doing not even stuff. I, I'm not even sure AOC would be safe in the end. 
you know, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and all these people, they're, they're just in as much trouble as Ted Wheeler is with this group. You know, once if this group would ever get real power, uh, they, they don't hate, they, they, don't, uh, they, they don't hate uh, the politicians. They want them eradicated. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're not going to be kind and say, well, we'll wait for the next election and let's see what the American people say about you, Chuck Schumer. They're not going to. I said this when, 2009, these people will drag people, including media, who are playing footsie with them. They'll drag them out of their, their broadcast chair while live on television and beat them to death in the streets. And they won't have a, they won't have a second thought because that's who they are. That's what they believe. Yeah, you might Ted want to Wheeler. take these people seriously when they start burning down your buildings and attacking police officers. It's like they act as if it's some little jokey college protest until it makes them move from their apartment. And it's like, well, I, I, it's hard. I, it's, I'm with you. I mean, it's hard to feel intellectual sympathy for this. Of course, as a, you know, that doesn't mean that they yeah, deserve You feel human sympathy. Yeah. But intellectually, if these were just people we were reading about and they weren't, it was history, I would have no sympathy for Ted Wheeler because it's not history and I have no idea what's going to happen and I don't want anything bad to happen to anybody. I do have sympathy. But intellectually, I mean, you don't put the genie back in the bottle. How is Portland or Seattle, how are they going to put this genie back in the bottle without, without extreme police force? And who's going to like that? Who's going to do that? I mean, you'd have to hire basically the thugs that are currently on the street to do it. I mean, who's going to, who, what good honorable police officer is going to be left in the Seattle or Portland or Minnesota police department? And we should point out that uh, the president, uh, the former president now, uh, tried to do something about this and offered help hundreds of times yep. and was ignored yep. and was called a fascist for even offering the help. So, yeah. again, it feels really difficult to muster up sympathy outside of what we're talking about because this is a this was utilized to try to make the president look bad for the past year. And now that it's continuing after the election, it's like, oh, gosh, like we're really I can't believe what's going on. It's like, it, well, I mean, you brought this upon yourself. I mean, they they, mm -hmm. they they continually acted as if this was not a real threat when everyone saw buildings on fire and federal buildings being attacked, police officers being assaulted. No one seemed to care.